you have a veil and suddenly the temperature and the pressure rised to the critical and going beyond the critical then there's a problem or the problem can really happen there so in those situations machine knows how to really judge those parameters and tell you then there will be some of the issues coming out and some of the anomalies can be happening the other good examples is when you are doing bank transfers or doing any of the credit card transactions in those scenarios if some of the transactions are fraudulent and machine will understand that transactions are not real and can block those transactions before the bad guys can take your money so that's how your anomaly detection can help you in multiple different way as well now the next category is regression now when we talk about regression the question which will come is how much or how many then you will be able to identify this is a regression problem now some of the examples will clear what is basically regression is if you have to take the decision of what is the price of a new product which you will be keeping if the new product is coming new in the market if you are launching a new product what should it be costing so that you will be making maximum profit and also will be able to sell it properly with the competition in the market so those kind of decisions is regression where you ask the machine how much or how many the number which is output from the machine is a number which can be a fraction or an integer number and most of the time a mathematical model will be inside this machine learning brain when it goes and solves the regression problem so the fourth category is clustering in the clustering we have already discussed in the previous section you will be asking the machine how this is organized or should be categorized don't confuse this with the classification clustering will be done over a large data set simultaneously so the machine will not be one by one telling you if it belongs to a category or b category but telling you that this all items or this all objects belong to a similar category and that category can be anything based on the sizes or the color it has categorized a lot of things and this are actually represented as one cluster one of the good example is k-mean clustering which was used initially to cluster product of amazon which you see when you buy a similar product so these are all the algorithm previously used now there are advanced algorithm being used in amazon and imdb but initially we were using k-mean clustering a variation of clustering algorithm to find out the similar product in amazon and imdb movie rating systems now the last type of machine learning problem which will be solved is reinforcement and the question typically is what is the next step for example if i'm playing this chess game which i have already given you example in the previous section if you want to ask the machine what is the next step which i should take so i should not lose or win the game this type of problem is typically a reinforcement learning category problem and most of the time a mathematical model will be trained with positive and negative reinforcement to answer the questions for you so these are five different types of answers or the problems you will be pitching the machine and machine will be giving you answer now next section will be all about algorithms and more details about how this is done to summarize this topic, there are five different varieties of problem which can be formulated to machine and those are classification, anomaly detection, regression, clustering and finally the reinforcement learning. There are so many things which you can do with machine learning and we will be going into one by one and looking next into the algorithm which makes it possible. So let's catch up in the next section to see the algorithm side of the machine learning. Sounds interesting, isn't it?